Hello, I'm here at the picturesque, what was once known as the Taparoo Reserve, to tell you about our October Council meeting. Firstly, I'm delighted to tell you that our council voted unanimously to rename this reserve with the dual title Ngāpadla Josie Aegis Reserve or Auntie Josie Aegis Reserve in honour of Aboriginal Ghana elder and prominent local community leader Auntie Josie Aegis, who passed away in December 2015. The name Ngāpadla is Ghana for Auntie and the request for dual naming is in line with our Aboriginal Advisory Panel's suggestion to recognise our Aboriginal cultural heritage in PAE. The city of PAE is located on the lands of the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains and is home to the largest population of Aboriginal people across Adelaide. We're proud to be regarded as a leader in local government in our work with and for the Aboriginal community. So this dual naming is very significant for us. We started the meeting with a deputation from Tony Baisley from the Port Adelaide Residents Environment Protection Group about our community land management plans for coastal reserves and beaches. This has been of immense interest to our community and we've worked closely with many groups and individuals on this plan as we recognise the importance of our beaches and coastal environment and the need to ensure that they're protected, enhanced and promoted. I'm pleased that the plans were adopted by Council and we have the appropriate measures, consideration and evaluation of this significant part of PAE. In addition to all of that, we had quite a varied agenda with discussions about the creation of koala drinking stations in key locations across the city that are made and cared for by our local community groups. The installation of various traffic control management plans and traffic control devices, the maintenance of our 56 public toilets that are not located in libraries, community centres and the civic centre but situated across PAE, various policy reviews, and an update of our COVID recovery activities, including rate relief for ratepayers affected by COVID, business support through our PAE Pay It Forward initiative, and resident and community support with a number of great events, activities, and grants. It was great to get out to the eastern suburbs of PAE as our meeting was held at the Clemson Community Hall. And that was a rundown of the key topics and discussion and decisions from our PAE Council meeting. As always, you can read the full agenda and minutes on our website, cityofpae.sa.gov.au. We'll see you next time after our November meeting, which will be held back in the Port Adelaide Town Hall.